This tool makes Scratch so much better. It's called Scratch Add-ons, and even if you heard of it, stick around because I'll be sharing some of the best add-ons. Skip to this point if you already have Scratch Add-ons installed. To install Scratch Add-ons, go to scratchaddons.com, then install. After it has finished, show the extension by clicking on the puzzle icon, and then showing it. Next, you can click on the Scratch Add-ons icon, then the settings icon, and you can use the search bar to find the add-ons. Alright, the first add-on is the Costume Editor Snapper. This makes the shapes in the Costume Editor snap to each other, special borders, allows you to align them perfectly, and more. This add-on is a must, especially for artists. The second add-on is the HD Image Uploads add-on. This add-on lets you upload .png or .jpg images in HD. This allows you to easily upload high-quality images into Scratch. Speaking of uploading files, the file drag and drop add-on allows you to just simply drag and drop files into Scratch. If you're like me and love dark mode, or just want to change the default colors, look no further than these two add-ons that let you change the colors of the editor in the general Scratch page. Now, I've deleted sprites and costumes in the past without even realizing. Especially in bigger projects, this can 100% ruin your progress. So that's why I love the hide delete button add-on. You can still delete stuff by right clicking on the object, but this will give you peace of mind that you didn't accidentally delete an important sprite. Speaking of accidentally doing something, the confirmations add-on asks for confirmation before doing something like sharing a project, deleting a project, closing form topics, and so much more. It's useful to know the X and Y position of things on the stage, and with the mouse position display add-on, you can easily do this. This add-on shows you the X and Y of your mouse on the stage. One of the major things that's missing from the color selector is an opacity slider. But with the opacity slider add-on, we finally get one. The variables and lists being in the same place can be annoying, and having to scroll it out to the actual blocks is annoying too. This is especially true for big projects, but the data category tweaks add-on fixes that. Now the variables and lists are in a more convenient place. You know what else is annoying? Having to switch to other similar blocks. But the block switching add-on fixes that. Now you can easily switch to similar blocks by just right-clicking. And here's a bonus one. The debugger gives Scratch some much-needed debugging tools, like logging, an FBA scouter, and so much more. So that's it for this video. You also might like this one. Have a great rest of your day, and I will see you next time.